As discussed in the last video, depending on how the denominator factorizes, there are numerous possible scenarios. The most common scenario is when the denominator factorizes to linear and distinct roots, say for instance x plus 1 by x plus 2. So in general, when q of x is factorized to linear roots, say x minus q of 1 by x minus q of 2 and so forth, the partial fraction expansion of p of x over q of x is simply given by p of x over x minus q1 by x minus q2 by all the way up to x minus q of n, or simply c1 over x minus q of 1 plus c2 over x minus q of 2 all the way up to c of n over x minus q of n, where c i are constants to be determined. So let's determine the partial fraction expansion of 1 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. So first of all, we can see that x squared plus 5x plus 6 can be expressed as x plus 2 by x plus 3. And hence, we can rewrite 1 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 as 1 over x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. Now we wish to conduct the partial fraction expansion of 1 over x plus 2 by x plus 3. So 1 over x plus 2 by x plus 3 can be expressed as some constant a over x plus 2 plus some other constant b over x plus 3, where a and b are to be determined. Now we multiply across by the denominator to simplify the expression. So we have 1 over x plus 2 by x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 x plus 3 equals a over x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 x plus 3 plus b over x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 x plus 3. As you can see, a lot of the factors will cancel, and so we are simply left with 1 equals a by x plus 3 plus b by x plus 2. So what we are left with is one equation in two unknowns a and b. So here x is a variable, but a and b are unknown. However, we can use different values of x to determine different equations for a and b, and then hence solve them. The easiest way to do this is to pick a value of x, such that one of the variables cancels, and we can simply determine the value of the other. So for instance, if we pick x equals minus 3, a will cancel, and we're simply left with an expression for b, and hence a value for b. So if we pick x equals minus 3, we have 1 equals a minus 3 plus 3 plus b minus 3 plus 2. Minus 3 plus 3 gives us 0, so we're simply left with 1 equals b by minus 1, or simply b equals minus 1. Whereas if we pick x equals minus 2, we have 1 equals a minus 2 plus 3 plus b minus 2 plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 gives us 0, so we're simply left with 1 equals a by 1, or simply a equals 1. And so the partial fraction expansion of 1 over x squared plus 5x plus 6, we have determined to be a, or simply 1, over x plus 2, plus b, or minus 1, over x plus 3. So the partial fraction expansion of 1 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 is given by a or 1 over x plus 2 plus b or minus 1 over x plus 3.